see sometimes what a lot of people don't know is that you have to lose something to gain something they score sacrifice see we are all enjoying the nigerian music just like we nigerians back in the days where we're enjoying the american music until the nigerian musicians decided to put a ban on the foreign music and then we start to enjoy the nigerian music this is a sensitive topic but i want to talk about it anyways welcome back to another youtube video if you're new here welcome my name is lillian today i want to react to the trending video by black sheriff and other artists from ghana i saw a video they are calling on ban on foreign music the trend in ghana to dominate the scene in ghana and there are a lot of reactions there are a lot of mixed emotions a lot of mixed reaction to this i want to take us back to history long time ago in nigeria i was a young girl then quite young but i can remember because i'm a lover of music when the nigerian p man performing musician and association i don't know what, what it means for p man now back in the days there was a time the american music was dominating the music scene in nigeria it, and a lot of people were cool with it they were we were all enjoying it i was quite young then but everybody was enjoying it back in the days of west west life back in the days of black street boys in the days of um osha raymond michael jackson and the rest a lot of people were enjoying american music if you tune onto any radio or tv station all that you hear then was foreign music precisely american music then all the nigerian musicians were just working for nothing they will go to the studio walk 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 before you know it in fact they will barely have anyone play their song in nigeria they barely have a dj or you go to clubs you know hear their music the likes of daddy shoki back in the days baba frayo baja was like baja there there used to be these lot of artists back then i can't remember all of them now because i was quite young then so they will make music they will do everything and this music will not even go far basically people in nigeria were not interested in the music let's say people in africa were not interested in their music so it went on like that until kenny ogumbe and d1 back then they used to own a program on um there's this tv station was it ait and that program is called um prime time i think prime time so kenny ogungwe and d1 and the rest that shoki and the rest all came together and campaigned for ban on foreign music to be able to allow the nigerian musician to thrive in nigeria to allow the locally made music made by nigerians to be enjoyed by nigerians so it was a difficult thing like they went on strike and they and now before they succeeded in putting a ban on all foreign music precisely american music it wasn't that easy so i see a lot of people come on to say oh black sheriff shouldn't have been part of the campaign he shouldn't have put his face out there the question is who would do it it was not a one-day journey for them it took them quite a while they had to convince the ministry of information they had to convince nigerians to give them a chance that they are going to, going to give them good music to try their best to just convince everyone and finally there was a time they said they were going to go on strike Fans are going to go a whole day without music there will be no sound of any sort that was it so finally which president was on seat then i think it was obasanjo or yeah it was obasanjo it was during the obasanjo era so they were able to give them a listening here so all the djs and all the music um, the clubs the club owners and all the djs and all the music lovers and radio stations were banned from playing foreign music for that period so that was how when nigerians started to give nigerian musicians a chance they play the music and people were like wait 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 see what we have been missing and then when they start to listen to the music they started to enjoy the music the nigerian music made by nigerians that was how gradually it spread and and that, that was how afrobeats started gradually gradually nigerians started to sell it out 
decide to export this music to other parts of the world and those ones they're like oh hold on they started to listen and they loved it afrobeats became a thing became one of the biggest things to have happened especially in nigerian music became the best thing that's ever happened to nigeria and most of and all, all african countries so it was not them sitting down and lamenting and being afraid to comfort do you know what it means for you to put your face out there? People like Daddy Shoki, people like Baba Frayo, people like um, Idris, Idris, yeah, Idris, Idris, people like um, back then Two Face was, you know, trending very well. They all had to come together and take the risk. Now, this is for those that are blaming Black Sheriff. They are saying that he shouldn't have come forth. He shouldn't have been among the people coming to speak. Wait, to who is going to who is going to do it for them? I mean, all of them, Black Sheriff and the rest, they will all hide behind the scenes and send people that are not very popular, all right, and send people that are not even musicians to go out and speak and campaign. Please, what Black Sheriff did is is okay. He has put his career on the line to save the future of. Ghanaian music if the career to save the career of young upcoming future of many Ghanaian artists to understand so it's okay he's actually the hero in all of this I mean do you think it's easy because he is one of the most stream Ghanaian artists in Nigeria at our 2022 he was actually trending everywhere. I remember going to Anambra State from Asaba and they were playing his song. If you follow, there was a video, I did a video. I did a video, I did a video at the River Niger and I talked about it, how this guy is trending in Nigeria. So see, for someone that could actually not be bothered because it's not even affected that much. For that person to throw away all the benefits is getting and then comfort to say okay yeah i'm not doing this for me i want to do this for the future of the ghanaian music scene then he is the hero come on what are we saying he's the hero yeah he has done this he has put his career on the line now the point i'm driving at is yeah that's my point number one black sheriff is actually the hero of this campaign this is not me supporting that movement but why not they deserve if they want to do that they want to free their country they want see it's not it has nothing to do with jealousy i see a lot of people say hey then they jealous other people not really jealousy they cause some when nigerians did it for their fellow nigerians it was not a jealousy they did it for the future of the nigerian music do you understand so these people are not doing it out of jealousy for those accusing them of being jealous that's why they are doing it no that guy just put his whole career on the line he stand to lose a lot by coming out to campaign but you know what he stand to be the hero if they succeed at this I'm even surprised that I don't see people like Chatawale, Sakodi, and the rest. You know, I don't see all these people, Stone Boy, Comfort to say we don't want. To. What are you guys waiting for? Do you think that if Black Sheriff and the others should succeed today, is he the only one that will benefit? No, it's not. All these other people I've mentioned, uh, King Promise and the rest, they are all going to enjoy. See, sometimes what a lot of people don't know is that you have to lose something to gain something, it is called sacrifice see we are all enjoying the nigerian music just like we nigerians back in the days were enjoying were enjoying the american music until the nigerian musicians decided to put a ban on the foreign music and then we start to enjoy the nigerian music so if you don't try you wouldn't know where they want to ban the nigerian music or the foreign music in ghana you'll be surprised what will happen after that happened you will discover all the talents you will know that Ghanaian artists also have talents do you understand i'm not in support or against this campaign by any ways but i just want to give my own bias honest sincere opinion i as a nigerian i'm not even angry and i'm happy that i could see comments like this on instant blog nigeria says yeah it's too much at least all the place where you go for ghana now so so nigerian music that they play for there mm, if now you say how you could feel them that was exactly what used to happen back then in nigeria afrobeat wouldn't have been a thing today if they didn't ban the foreign music in nigeria for Ghanaians to know what they have, it's just for them to take the risk. 
either to ban it if, if they succeed in banning the foreign music in Ghana. That's when they are going to know if Ghanaians are talented or not. All this Afrobeat battle, this is where we can, in fact, when they do this, this is when the Ghanaian music scene can be compared with that of Nigeria. I mean, we are talking about how do you even compare a country that is not independent of its own music? Like it does not, a country that don't really play its own music. You want to go compare that country with a country that plays its own music and even export its own music to your own country. Do you understand? So by the time they go out there, they allow them like they are free to ban international musics um, in Ghana. That is when you will know. That's when we can even do this Afrobeat competition. Like we go toss in Nigeria music or Ghana music. That is when we can do it. For those of us that like to compare, that is when we can compare. Because right now, what are you comparing? There's nothing to compare in Ghana. Because the majority of the time, like you go to a nightclub, it's been a while. Who gonna take me to club? You go to a nightclub, 70% of the songs that plays in that club are all Nigerian music. Uh, yeah, the remaining 20% that will be played, collaboration between Nigerians and Ghanaians. And then 10% of it comes from Ghana by, Niger by Ghanaian artists. So what are we saying? What I'm saying is that this is not going to be easy. Okay, if you want to ban the Afrobeat, I mean, if you want to ban foreign music in, in Ghana, it's not going to be a one-day journey. And a lot of people have got to be ready to put their careers on the line or forget it. Do you understand? Forget it. You see Black Sheriff, for me, he remains a hero because, man, this guy, with what we have seen out there, if they end up not succeeding, Black Sheriff career is gone. I'm sorry, in Nigeria. He's gone in Nigeria because... This is like you, you giving the police information about a bad gang and then the police could not get them and they could not protect you. You are gone by the time these people come and they are coming for you. Do you understand? So if Black Sheriff career must be saved now, this is what should happen. You guys, they should succeed at it. But truth be told, it's not going to affect Nigeria. It's not going to affect the entertainment industry in Nigeria. I mean, if Ghana ban Nigerian music in Ghana, and now it's not just about the Nigerian musical, they say foreign. So it could mean America, the United Kingdom, Australians and the rest, Togo and the rest. All right. Uh -huh. So this is when this collaboration will become a big deal. Once they are able to ban them or the foreign music, this is where you see more collaboration between this between foreign musicians and the local musicians do you understand because now for you to penetrate that country for any musician from nigeria or togo or cameroon or the us to penetrate into the music scene in ghana he will need chatawale black sheriff when the share we needing all of them different types of them to do collaboration with for you to be able to import the music into the country is a good thing just like now look at now in nigerian music now you see american musician making videos calling on davido whiskey they want to collaborate with them Thames, arasta see what did a collaboration with brandy a lot of them i mean chris brand did a collaboration with davido i mean this was not if they did not if they did not ban the foreign music in nigeria all of this wouldn't have been possible today because why should i collaborate with you in fact you should be thanking all the nigerian artists that have collaborated with ghanaian artists thank them tell them thank you because they could actually decide not to collaborate you know for them to they, they don't need collaboration to break through into this into the music scene in ghana so if you're thanking all the artists in nigeria that have ever done collaboration with ghanaian artists because they didn't have to do it for them to be here so you get it seriously it's a sensitive topic nobody should hate me for this i'm not taking side i don't care what happened i'm a lover of music but i'm not an extremist for me not to know the truth do you understand i want to wish everybody good luck <laughs> i hope that you guys you guys make una succeed though for the sake of black sheriff i beg because that guy career to law if you succeed do you get it so thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next one bye